So some of you may have a question about how a center pivot sprinkler works. This is Gary Hubble, ranch real estate broker, Crawford, Colorado, United Country Real Estate. So here's the deal. This is a Pierce center pivot, and it's got a pivot point clear in the distance down there, right next to the, uh, the lane. And this is actually what's called a windshield wiper pivot. Only goes about 170 degrees, okay? Down there is a, uh, is a 30 horsepower variable speed pump, okay? And that pump pressurizes this system to be able to spray water as far as it does and to be able to spray it uphill. It's uh, on three phase power and it, uh, if you've got two pivots working, it costs between $600 and $1,000 a month to run it, so it's not cheap, okay? So there's a motor between on the axle between each of those wheels and that motor has power connected to it all the way down to the pivot at the base. So that motor drives this, this system forward in either a slow or a fast pattern depending on what you want to do, okay? So then the, the motor actually doesn't take all that much power to run. There's a motor on each one of those wheels. You can see it moving right there, okay? There's a, a motor on each one of the towers We've got one, two, three, four, five, six towers on this pivot. And this pivot is 1,192 feet long, I think, okay? And so that's what propels it forward is those motors. The pressure is what takes all the power to run to pressurize that in-gun sprinkler and all those sprinklers on the, uh, on the pivot, okay? So the in-gun sprinkler will spray up to 90 feet. It's losing a little bit of pressure right now. And that's because there's not quite enough water to feed it as much as it wants. But you can see that all the other sprinklers are going really good. Now those sprinklers are what's called a wobbler head, okay? So we'll walk a little closer and have a look at them. What they are is there's a little pin hanging down in a horseshoe shape. And they're in a, uh, a horseshoe pattern. And that little pin makes it so that that sprinkler cannot sprinkle symmetrically. It's an asymmetrical motion. And then that little um, horseshoe thing hanging off there has little channels cut in it. And those channels make the water flop out in big fat drops. And if you notice what we've got here, there's a lot of big drops coming off of there, okay? And what that does is if, see that? What that does is when you have a windy day, your water will be able to go through the wind and land on the ground and spatter and then penetrate. If you have a real fine mist on a pivot, it doesn't work nearly as well because it'll blow away in a wind. And we're getting a little bit of wind right now. So anyway, that is a basic introduction to a center pivot. And you can see how much water this thing is throwing down. You can cover, oh, you can put an inch of water on a field in a 24 hour period or even two inches, three inches in two or three days. And so what that does is this alfalfa that you see growing right here, this is a grass alfalfa hay crop, and uh, it needs about a total of 36 inches of water a year to grow a good crop up to 40 inches a year. And we're actually only getting about 18 inches through natural precipitation, either rain or snow. So this water is fed from a reservoir up there and all the snow melt that comes down out of the mountains and it's not pumped out of the ground. It is gravity fed into, uh, yeah, that big gun sprinkler is working. <laughs> so it's gravity fed from the mountains until it gets into our system and then it's pressurized from there. So just thought you might like to know.